Sometimes you might need to download your data and open them with Excel or any other application or tool in order to process them. The easiest way to do that is go to this URL, the server, the Thingsboard server, slash swagger das ui dot html enter before you enter this page you have to be earlier logged in into uh, the thingsboard platform first you logged in in thingsboard and then you go to the swagger uh, ui user interface so now you see that we are in the thingsboard rest api here you go down until you find the telemetry controller. You click on it and go down to this line where we get the time series data. Click on the arrow. This is how our uh, values will be uh, downloaded in JSON format so we need to uh, press try it out and fill these parameters in order to get our measurements first field is the entity type the simplest one we want to download uh, measurements from a specific device that is the type that we will put here exactly device and then we need the entity ID. We have to go back to Thingsport, find our device, let's say our test device here, copy device ID, not the access token that we use in our code for ESP32. Now we need the device ID and go back here and paste it. Next thing is the key. Which key we want to download measurements for. Let's say we want to download the temperature values for this device. We had two keys there. If you remember, it was temperature and humidity. Now we will download the temperature values. Here, there are two fields that have to do with the starting time of the measurements and the ending time. Both these time, both these times uh, have to be given in Unix timestamp format. So we have to use some tool for this uh, purpose. Let's try for example www unix timestamp.com which creates timestamps for uh, specific uh, instances of uh, date and time that we give here. Uh, let's say we want to uh, get measurements for the last three hours. Right now if I copy, if I press copy here, this is the Unix timestamp that I will get. This is the current time, the current timestamp. I go back to Swagger UI and put it here at the end timestamp. But be careful because uh, this tool accepts timestamps in milliseconds and the Unix timestamps gives uh, stamps for up to the second up to the field of seconds so I need to add three more zeros here to make it milliseconds and let's say I want the starting time to be same day but three hours before convert I get my time stop here copy go to swagger add three zeros to make it milliseconds and we are ready we press execute 
and we can see the server response here that contains the temperature values at this uh, time period that we defined with the timestamps. Not many, actually, but it's just an example. So now if we press download, we will get the result in a JSON file. If I open the file with a notepad, for example, since JSON files are text files actually, we see how it is organized. The timestamp for each measurement and the corresponding value measured. Now this is a JSON uh, file format. Uh, perhaps it is not very practical for many of you to work with uh, these kind of files. You might want to convert it to XLS or CSV or some other similar format to work. So one way, there are many, many online converters. Let's try one I have used before. It is WWA convert, but as I say, there are lots of them. If you Google JSON to XLS uh, converter, you will find many links. This is just one that I have used document json to xls if i press this i go to this page it says choose file okay i don't remember the file name it was at the downloads so at the downloads folder the latest is this one okay this must be it and i select to convert it to xls there are other file types here convert to the one you prefer convert now and now your file is ready and you can save it to your computer. Our file has been converted. We can just go here on the file URL link, save link as, give it a meaningful name, for example, temperature, and let's put it on our desktop. And here you are, your file is ready.